hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we're doing another product review you guys like that last product so much it sold out in, in a couple of hours i was shooketh so uh thank you um also i was contacted by another company that sells diamond painting accessories and asked if i would show something from them so i said sure now you're probably wondering miss coffee it's not daytime where you're at it's dark what is going on well that's because they sent over an led light yes now this led light is for those folks that have trouble seeing their projects whenever they're working on them um so it has a magnifying glass on it and an led light so we're gonna we're gonna test it out we're gonna we're gonna do a little test okay so with two led lights on it it says so this is this is what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and get into the box. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So when you get into the box, you see this. So I see a magnifying glass. I see, I see this. I hear something. There's no instructions. So it must be easy to put together because there's no instructions. Um, what's up with the screw? Oh, okay. I guess it does have a little screw on the side there. So we're going to take all this plastic off because we don't, we don't need all that. And then we're going to take it off here, too. All right. So it looks like there's a hole right here. Is there a hole in here? There's no hole in there. So let's see how this goes. So we're going to screw this on here like this. There we go. And then we're going to see what this does. There's no hole there. Like, I don't know if you can see in there, but there's literally no hole in there. So this little black thing would just stick out. Is this supposed to be like a stabilizer or something? I don't, I don't get it. I don't think we need this. Do we need it? We're just going to chuck that. All right. So we don't need that because what, what is it going to do? Walk away? Like, seriously, what's that screw do? It's just going to stick out like a sore thumb. No, thank you. Anyways, so this is the LED light that they sent. Um, it, it looks like it takes some batteries on the side of the box here and it does come in an amazon box because it is of course coming from amazon so clip style metal hose magnifying glass main lens is 90 millimeters um blah 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 so it does take triple a batteries so we're gonna need some triple a batteries thank you mr coffee don't tell mr coffee i stole his batteries anywho so it looks like we're gonna need some batteries okay it has it has little down arrows there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna throw some batteries in here and, and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out to see how well it does. Um, it looks pretty sturdy. I hope it's pretty sturdy. So we're gonna put this ribbon down and we're gonna put that down there. And then we're gonna put this here. And then we're gonna put this. We're we're, we're, we're just gonna put this right here. And then we're gonna tuck that in there somehow. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna close it. Ta-da! All right. So, and the reason why obviously why I'm doing this at night is because you won't really need it during the day if it has LED lights on it. So I'm just saying. Now let's see. Ooh. Okay. So we do have a magnifier, and I, I'm guessing you can turn it either way. But the magnifying side's on that side, so I would guess you would want it on that side. So let's see here. It it attaches to my table. All right, we can see my diamond. That is a little loose. Maybe that was a stabilizer. Let's, let's grab that screw out of the box. Sorry we dejected you, little screw. Maybe you do have a job. Oh, okay. So it makes it, this stabilizes it. Okay. So you can see it stabilizes it so that this part doesn't twist off, but it sticks out. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So that's one downfall that I don't like. So let's see here. We got a magnifying glass. So this is good no matter what project type you're working on. I'm trying to find a more stable spot on my, there we go. Is that a more, yeah. Because if y'all, if y'all, if y'all don't know, I use a regular, like, it's kind of like a party table. 
because it's, you know, when it's crafting time, it's party time, y'all you know I mean? All right, so I'm trying to, there we go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep it right there. So it does attach to my table. And if you can't see, it's right there. It's attached to the table. And so this would be great for any type of project. Say you're diamond painting. So say you're diamond painting. Can you see those symbols better? How about now? Whoa. All right. So I know a lot of people in the community do have these already. Uh, this isn't necessarily something that I have had before because usually, you know, I just get down and deep into the diamond painting. But if you're trying to help with your back and not stressing your back out by hunching over, um, this might actually be a good option for you because we're not, we're not spraying chickens anymore, folks. These eyes ain't getting any better. So that looks really good. What's this little one do? Like, oh, okay, I can see it. You you probably can't see it, but I can see it. Um, we're gonna turn this light off before I flip it because I don't want to blind you. But I want to see. Oh, okay. So that's cool. So okay, I can see it perfectly right there. Like literally, like I can see it perfectly. Obviously, you wouldn't have it this close to your kit. But if you were diamond painting, uh, you wouldn't have it that close to your kit. And of course, a it, it illuminates so that you can see what you're doing and you can see your symbols nice and clear. The magnifying glass obviously works on diamond paintings, but what about other crafts? I mean, what if you're cross-stitching? I mean, because sometimes it's hard to see those lines and those, those holes in your pattern, so, like, you need to make it where you can see it. I can see it clear as day. I can easily see my holes now, and I can cross-stitch. But what if you're not a cross stitcher? What if you're say crocheting? Can you use it for crocheting? So I can also use it for my crochet projects. So this is a multi craftual light, if you will. Um, so essentially if you are someone who doesn't have the best sight and you really, really want something to help with being able to see what you're doing, I, I would suggest an LED light. Um, and this one's good because it's not only a magnifying glass, it is also an LED light as well. So if you live in a spot where, you know, the lights aren't, the, like the lighting isn't the best, um, this might actually be a pretty cool option for you. So I'm just saying, like, if you're interested in a really cool LED light, I'd say check this one out. Um, this one currently is available at the time that I'm recording this video because I got a lot of people that were like, it's not available, Miss Coffee. I'm like, I put that video up days ago. So this currently is available. I see that I can see so well. I see that I missed a stitch on my last row. Like that's how well I can see. So I'm gonna have to pull that out. Y'all want to crochet with me for a second? So y'all, y'all, y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, right now I'm doing cables. Uh, let's see. So we did those two, and we're gonna go here. This is actually pretty cool. I never thought to get an LED light. I just thought to, you know, strain my eyes to death until I went blind and then I couldn't cross it or crochet anymore. Um, but I've seen these a lot in the community. Uh, a lot of crafters have them on their desk for either magnifying purposes or just for the extra light. Which is nice because if you're like me, you don't have the best lighting in your craft space. And I don't. I don't have the best lighting in my craft space mostly because I craft in my living room. There's no fixture on the ceiling. So I just have like a little lamp on the side. So this would be great for someone like me who doesn't have the best lighting. Um, there we go. And it, it's it, you can use it for any craft if you're crocheting, if you're cross stitching, macrame, whatever. Um, so I I would suggest this lamp. I don't see what the issue would be with it. It's not getting hot because that's LED. So I'm I'm, I'm touching it to see if it's going to get hot. It has a pretty good grip. Oh, let me turn that light off. Has a pretty good grip. Obviously, you can use it in the daytime. It's good for day or night, obviously. The only thing that makes it more nighttime-ish is the fact that it has two LED lights on it. So, it does have a pretty wide, like, grip thing there. Um, it does look very well made. It does have two LED lights. It takes three AAA batteries. Again, I'm not 100% sure about this screw here. Like, what is the point of that? That seems pointless. It doesn't seem pointless, but it sticks out, and I don't I don't know if I like that. Would I recommend this light? 
I'd say sure, check it out. It's only $16.99 over on Amazon. If you're in the the if if you're if you're in the market for a good LED light, um, can I say how good it is? No, I've I've literally you just watched me take it out of the box. I've used it once, like literally only turned it on once. But you can use it for any craft that you're doing. Um, we'll probably uh, in install as quick. Setting it up was quick. Again, you saw me do it. I, I just took it out of the box. So it, it's really simple and easy to use. I feel like anybody can use it. Um, the LED lights is a nice additive to it because, again, for those of us who don't have the best lighting in our craft area, that would be helpful. Even if you don't use a magnifying glass all the time, you at least still have the light that you can use. And it's not going to kill the batteries for them to sit in there until you need it. So that's always a plus. Um, so... Yeah, I would say go check them out. So go check out this clip style metal hose magnifying glass. Um, essentially, it's like an ot light, but it, it, I mean, it does the same thing. Look at this. But with that said, I have to get the hell out of here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you to wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your six feet, and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.